before kind of growing here with Mo Wash oh, yeah. the last few few week games here? Yeah, me and Mo, we've uh I think I think we've gotten pretty close. You know, he's my roommate in the hotel, so we're always just joking, laughing in there. You know, uh, he's he's a guy I try to talk to and try, you know, hand down anything I can to him. It's not like I'm trying to sit there and scold him because he's a pretty smart kid. Just be able to talk to him, and I think him having somebody to talk to, and like with Coach Held and all the backs in the room, I think is definitely helping him a lot. He seems like another guy that once you get him going, he'll he'll talk. Yeah, yeah, Maurice is, he's one of those guys, yeah, he's a, he's a goofy guy, he's funny, so it's yeah. like, it's real easy to talk to him, because we just crack it up the whole time, so we just make a joke to him like that, he's he's a good kid. Have you ever met anybody quite with his, his personality and his playing style, just sort of a, an electric, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's just, honestly, I think he plays the way his personality is, like, he's like real balancy, he's like, He's, I don't, I don't, like you said, I don't like explain it, but you know, he has that thing about him, and I think it transfers over to the field too. He's, he's, he's funny, and I, I only see him getting better, especially as he matures. It's gonna, be, it's gonna get nice. Is he teaching those dance moves? Yeah. <laughs> I'm teaching him dance <laughs> Me and him, like me and him, he dancing all the time and stuff like that. That's another thing. Like just being him, I feel like he feels comfortable around us, which is helping. How familiar are you with uh, the team Coach Van? How familiar were you before they announced all the schedule? I did not know much, honestly, anything at all. So it's just, it's, honestly, everything. It's gonna be a learning experience this whole week. Learn who they are and just seeing how the defense is, things like that. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Were, were you happy that you guys did add that extra game on the schedule? Yeah, it's de- again, uh, I was definitely happy. More opportunities to play football, more opportunities, you know, to to win games here in Nebraska. So it's just, uh, I was very appreciative of the opportunity. Happy to get the chance to do it. With you and Mo, do you kind of look at it as like a thunder and lightning sort of thing, or do you guys have like a tandem name that you've come up with? <laughs> no, not yet. We'll leave that to uh, I'll leave that to everybody else. But I, I definitely do because he is a uh, more of elusive, elusive, like quicker, like dagger kind of guy, and I guess I'm a little more blunt. But I think I think we definitely do balance each other out and complement each other well. Do you, Do you feel like that is Sunday? Your ability to catch the ball, which you've always had since you came here, one of the reasons they recruited you here in the first place, is going to come in handy and valuable um, once you kind of try to make that jump. Yeah, uh, when I definitely you know do try to make that jump, I definitely think it's something that people would take into consideration. Like I've always enjoyed catching the ball, and that's something I try to do here as much as possible, and you know just try to show the coaches that they can have confidence in my hands. But yeah, I definitely think of already having a pretty good foundation will help. Do you feel like they understand now how good of a pass catcher you are? Are they, are they, are they still figuring that out? Because we've seen it for three years that you've had that ability. I think, uh, I, I think the coaches in the spring, especially Coach Helds, he was that's one thing that he definitely brought up. Even like right as soon as spring ended, when I had, when he gave me that list of things to improve on over the summer, he was like, you know, we think you're good at pass for, you, you run the ball well, and you have really good hands. So that's one, I think that's one thing that they, that they saw and noticed, and they, you know, they just want me to keep sharpening and things like that. But I definitely think they saw, they saw that a little bit, because Coach Helds brought it up to me a couple of times. So I, you know, I appreciate that. Hey, speaking of Coach Held, he has really high standards for guys yeah. in his room. How has that helped to push you and other guys in the room? It, like it's like if you're not meeting up that standard, you won't play. So if you want to play, and you really, you know, you truly want to play, you'll you'll meet it. So it just raises a, a level of competition, the level of play by everybody, and you know, it just kind of makes us, uh, it kind of makes us more responsible for ourselves. We have to be able to push ourselves to get to this point. We can't we can't rely on Coach Held to get us there because he wants us there. But he's not going to, you know, baby, force feed anybody. He's, like, he's going to tell us what we need to do and we got to get done. Oh, one or two more questions. If you want. You've topped 150 yards in three of your last four games. Where do you contribute that success to? The whole line. <laughs> they they blocking. they blocking. Yeah, they're doing crazy, crazy good things out there. So I, I really appreciate that. And, yeah, those guys have been working hard. And it's paying off. And I, like I said, a bunch of people, I saw this little story. It's like a bunch of people talk about how well like all the school players did, but the old line is playing. And I you know, really appreciate those boys. They love it. They, they understand they, they have a thankless job, but everybody on the team and everybody should really appreciate those boys. Adrian Martinez said that too. He said they're pretty underrated. Mm-hmm. Like it's just not really getting all the attention to. So I just, I, like you said, how do you kind of contribute to your success because of them too? Yeah, it's just like, I honestly I couldn't do much without them. They make all the hard blocks. They uh, like all those runs, a bunch of these runs, especially the ones I had this past week. A lot of them, like the anticipation is to go a different direction, but the way these guys blocked it, it went 
play side, and that usually doesn't happen. But like, yeah, those guys are working hard. And I definitely do think they're underrated. I definitely think they didn't get enough credit because of like maybe what happened in the past with these guys are a completely different group. And they're the best, the best line I think I've seen since I've been here. Hey, uh, Frost said, now this was a throwaway line, and, and he said on, on Saturday, he said, Divine's a Sunday guy. Did you hear him say that? And what did you, what'd you think of him saying that? Uh, I didn't like hear him say it, but people have told me he said it. And like, I really appreciate it, especially from a, a guy like Coach Ross has been there and you know, seen a lot of guys, coach a lot of guys that have been there. So if he sees that, then, you know, that gives me some confidence and I really appreciate it. What, when you think about it, you've been asked this like 19 times already this year, what's the biggest jump you've made um, just physically and mentally to maybe put you in a position to continue your career even after you leave here? Um, just honestly, just the confidence. I mean, the trust the coaches have in me. It gives me, it lets you play free. You're not really worried about much. You're not really worried about messing up, getting pulled. You, you, know, you go to the sound like you're going to get coached up and corrected instead of, you know, just, all right, you don't know if you're getting back in the game. So just being able to play confident, going out there, and, you know, not worried about making mistakes and just, you know, playing free and trying to make big plays when they're there. And I think that's definitely helped me the most. Maybe this is an unfair question, but did, did you feel like in the past that you had a kind of a short leash in that way in the rotation with kind of how you were handled and, and things like that before? Yeah, um, I guess you could say it's just like, you know, you just have to walk, uh, you have to walk a little lighter before, you know, I didn't really, cause I honestly never really knew where I stood for the most parts uh, of the past. So just trying not to go backwards was a big thing for me, not, you know, saying, but now I can only focus on trying to get better and improve and, and things like that. So the opposite. Is you know, it's a big deal. Held seems like, if nothing else, a, a really clear communicator about yeah. where you are at all times. Is yeah. that accurate? Yeah, Coach Held, you know, he doesn't hold any punches, but you know, <laughs> he talks to you like a man. He's in here, space and that's one thing that everybody likes about him because like, he'll tell you straight up, he'll let you know, he'll be clear with the whole room, and you know, there's nothing to hide, there's no secrets here. So, yeah, it's definitely something that helps just knowing exactly what the picture is. If he, If you ask him, what can I work on? Is he the kind of guy that will give you a, a notebook full of things to work on? Oh yeah, like, he, like, we have like our, uh, our running back maxims in the room, and every day he's harping on those and you know little things for each guy specifically. Okay. But yeah, he definitely knows. He definitely has those things that every guy can get a little bit better on, and he pressed it at practice and you know, asked us to take these things into consideration. We're going out there, and I think it's definitely helped with uh, a lot of people and a lot of backs in that room. When this staff came in, um, did Coach Duvall and, and those guys kind of sit down with you and say that this is where we think that you can get better and, and this is how we're going to do it? It, it? it seems like you were faster, a lot faster than you have been in the past. I mean, do you feel that way? And, and how did that kind of help you to do this? Uh, I do feel faster, but in it. I'm just kind of happy. I got the opportunity to see how fast I am. Because honestly, I don't know how fast I am. But being, you know, in practice a lot different in games. But getting the chance to, you know, just run in the game and, and see how, you know, speed matches up. So that was kind of cool to see from it, even myself. But yeah, Coach Duvall, they brought, you know, Dave Ellis in. And he helped us with the body, uh, with our body and decks and to tell us with our frames, we could hold this much weight and we could have you here. But coaches are looking at you here. And, you know, they pull those numbers together and put a routine uh, together for everybody, and I definitely think it's proved uh, proved successful.